Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add a player name and time to the chat log. So we're going to be using a couple of different things. First thing I did was actually, we're going to jump out of that script. Um, here in my player stats I created a static variable player name as a string and I typed in my player name. And this is what I'm going to be using to put into the chat log itself. <clears throat> so first thing we want a private variable dt which equals date so it's going to grab our date so uh, all the information is associated with your computer what your what the date is um, it'll grab all that information and we can access it from there. So we're going to scroll down to here and so we created a bunch of different variables this is keeping track of day month year hours minutes seconds now for this tutorial I only included hours minutes and seconds because that's pretty much all that's gonna matter during gameplay maybe you want to make a game that keeps track of everything like all the users data but I'm just going to be keeping track of hours, minutes, and seconds for gameplay just so players can uh, chat with each other. But once I do server side this will be linked up to the server time not their actual time. So whenever they're communicating with each other it'll be on the server time. So they can see when someone has sent a message, how many seconds between, and so forth and so on. So day and dt, that variable for date that we created, we want to grab right now the day, so whatever our day is, and we do the same for each one <coughs> down this list. So for each thing, each variable, we're going to be grabbing um, the exact time at which uh, this is being called, which it's being called all the time, so it'll constantly be updating that. Now from our previous tutorial, we had return we had everything set up exactly how it was before but this time we added in the different components so for hours minutes and seconds and I also did player stats because we we changed it to a static variable and my function is called player stats so as long as that um, variable is static we can transfer it between these two scripts so you just do the name of the script dot and then we're grabbing player name so what it's going to print first is all this information. It'll pl display our player name and then it will display our message that we were typing in. So through here I just put um, little symbols for each thing. You can put in little spaces here and it'll separate um, these values with a space if you want or whatever you want to do but that's how I had mine set up so after that enters it will um, make our text field blank again so yeah just gotta see here if I forgot anything that we might have hmm. nope I, oh and you wanna add in that too just so we can um, we can grab the information for date. We're going to be needing that. So I think that's pretty much all we need for this script so far. We can uh, go jump in our game and test it out. So this is pretty much just a, uh, a simple add-on for our previous chat system. I think I'm going to be just including the, rev the revised chat or, hmm, I don't know, maybe I will just include the date and time thing if people want to add it in. They can just go through this tutorial and uh, type in stuff how they want, because if they want to use the date and time for something else, I think they want to have that date and time code handy, so I might just be including that. But it's very simple to add to the previous script if you want to set up your chat exactly like how I have mine set up. So we're going to press enter and you'll see it's blank there. We can just do tests like we did before 
and now it displays our information down there. So pretty much we have our time, everything, hour, minute, second. We've got our player name and we have their message that they typed. So if we go in here and type test again, you can see here that it, the difference in seconds for each time we type. So it's grabbing our current computer's uh, date, time, all that information, and printing it here. And it's constantly updating, so these, these strings will actually stay the same because they've been entered into the array. But any new ones that are entered in will display a new time. So it's almost about to go over to the next minute. We'll just wait a couple seconds and we can see what happens again. And it switched over. Now, there's a couple of issues with this chat currently um, that I didn't mention in the other video. The text is not able to go down to the next line, and if it goes a certain distance, you won't be able to scroll over and see it. So if I just type in a bunch of random stuff like that, you're going to see that it cuts off right around here. And there's you can't scroll over. There is a way to adjust this box setting so it's um, over here a little bit more, but that's not going to help too much. In the future, hopefully I'll have an updated chat with a couple more fixes for the enter and make, sh make making it so that the text can go down to the next line. And it seems like the player is very limited at the amount of text they can type, so I might end up adjusting that so they can type a lot more in here and do different things like that. So there's still a lot of work to be done with the chat system. There's still the online multiplayer chat system that we need to do. We need to fix this up a bit. Maybe we can do different stuff like maybe you type in a command and you know in some uh, like MMOs like WoW you type slash dance and your character starts dancing. We can do different stuff like that with the chat too. Maybe we can add in little emoticons that replace the text with a smiley or something. That's something I can figure out in the future. Um, maybe changing the text size, how big it displays in here and stuff like that. So it gives us a lot of possibilities for the future, what we can do with this chat system. I also want to be able to change the color. So maybe I want the, uh, the time to be white, my name to be blue, and then the other text to be white. We can also try adjusting that that's going to be with a separate um, script where we can go in and we can adjust uh, what each of these uh, text displays, what the color is for that. So yeah, look forward to a lot of tutorials in the future covering um, improved chat system and hopefully you guys will enjoy those new tutorials.